By 2050, half of the world's population is going to be myopic. What is myopia? Myopia is when someone needs to wear minus number glasses to see clearly for far. There are three main causes of myopia apart from a few others. The first is genetics, which you can't really do much about. The second is the amount of near activity that you do. The more the near activity, the higher the chance that you will develop myopia. And the third is the amount of outdoor activity that you do. So the more time you spend outdoors, the lesser the chance that you will develop myopia. Myopia control has thus become a very important topic in the eye care world. And apart from a few others, there are three main ways that you can control myopia today. The first is by using atropine eye drops. Uh, the second is by using a particular type of contact lens called ortho K lens. And the third is by using specialized lenses, which will cause a defocus in some areas of your vision. Uh, these lenses are based on what is known as the DIMS technology, the DIMS technology, which stands for Defocus Incorporated Multiple Segments. This is what we will be talking about today. Introducing MyoSmart, the first ophthalmic lens with DIMS technology that manages myopia progression in children in a safe, easy, effective, and non-invasive way. Whenever light enters the eye, the rays of light meet on the retina. If they meet on the retina, then we see clearly. In myopia, the problem is that when rays of light enter the eye, they meet in front of the retina and therefore you see a blur image. I'm going to try and show you that here. So if these are two rays of light, if they meet on the retina, which is the back part of the eye, then you see a clear image. However, if these rays meet in front of the retina, then you see a blur image. And because of this blur image, we cannot see clearly and thus we have to wear uh, spectacle lenses or minus number lenses. And what these minus number lenses do is if you put a minus number lens here, then rays of light that are coming to the lens move outwards and then they meet on the retina. Because of these minus number lenses, we are able to see things clearly. Unfortunately, when we say clearly, we are basically referring to only the central vision. We are not referring to the peripheral vision. What happens uh, normally is when rays of light enter the eye and they reach the retina, here when we draw this diagram, we only talk about two rays of light, right? But normally, uh, there are multiple rays of light and they all go towards the retina and the way they hit the retina is like this. And what this shows is that while the person is seeing very clear in the center, there is a defocus in the peripheral retina. Defocus meaning these rays of light are actually meeting behind the retina by this much distance and by this much distance. Now when they meet behind the retina, the signal that the eye sends to the brain is that the eye is shorter than what it should be. That's the stimulus that the eye is sending to the brain that the eye is shorter and the eye needs to grow longer. This peripheral defocus, it's called a hyperopic defocus. A hyperopic defocus is when the rays of light meet behind the retina. This hyperopic defocus is a stimulus for the eye to grow longer and thus there is myopia progression. The new glasses that I was mentioning earlier, which are based on the DIMS technology, what they do is they basically cause this section of the um, light to start focusing here. And they basically cause what is known as a myopic defocus. And the way that these lenses achieve that is uh, they're not made like traditional lenses. They basically have two zones to the lens. One is a central zone and one is a peripheral zone. The central zone basically takes care of the central vision. And the central zone is like any other spectacle lens that you have used in the past. The peripheral zone on the other hand has a honeycomb pattern. Uh, uh, the honeycomb pattern 
has a plus number to some parts of the honeycomb and what this plus number does is it moves these rays from here to here. Once these rays are moved here, the stimulus for this eye to grow longer reduces. That is how these lenses work. Studies show that there is a chance of 60% where the myopia will not increase when these uh, lenses are worn. These lenses, there are studies now that have a follow-up of up to 3 years. In fact, the company is so sure that these lenses work that if you start wearing these lenses and if your number increases by 0.75 diopters in the first 6 months, they would actually replace the lenses for free with the new number. That's how confident the company is. These lenses were introduced in uh, India in, in probably November of 2021 where there were some uh, ophthalmic institutes, very big ophthalmic institutes that were uh, prescribing these lenses. They were introduced in private practice in the month of Feb or March in 2022. Um, and uh, compared to regular spectacle lenses, these, these are much more expensive. So uh, as of May 2022, these lenses come for around 15,000 rupees for both eyes. And uh, while I expect that may be a hindrance for some to actually use these lenses, uh, from a purely medical point of view, uh, I think this is a very interesting uh, development and I do think that this will actually reduce the prevalence of myopia. Thanks for watching.